How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech and today we're going to be taking a look at the True Free O2 wireless earbuds. Now these are open ear earbuds and True Free did send these out for me to review. Now True Free did send these out for me to review. Of course all the thoughts here on these are going to be my own and not True Free. So let's go and check these out. Now I've always wanted to try open ear earbud just because the most of the time I listen to my music is when I'm at work and I always have just one ear in and I would like to have both ears in to get a nice true experience well these will allow you to have both ears in and still get a sense of your surroundings when you're jogging you're riding your bike you're in commute or something like that you're still able to hear your surroundings so I've always wanted to try open ear earbuds but I've always been a little hesitant just because of that audio quality now these could sound good that would be awesome. So let's go take a look at what comes in the box. Thank you guys for joining me here. If this is your first time here on Sick Yard Tech, consider subscribing and click that bell icon that we don't miss out on future videos, just like the one you're about to watch today. There's a plane coming, so let's go ahead and check out what comes out in the box, shall we? All right, so let's check out what comes in the box. Here we go, True Free O2 wireless earbuds. They do have a large 15 millimeter dynamic driver. You get 22 hours of playback time, that is with the case, and you do have dual mic for noise cancellation. Now these obviously don't have any noise cancellation when you're listening to, when you're listening to music just because they are open ear earbuds. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. You get some True Free on the side, and here's some more information on the back. Bluetooth 5.3, you get a minimum working distance of 10 meters and you get about 6.5 hours of playback on the buds themselves, up to 22 with the case and the charging capacity to charge that case is going to be about an hour and 15 minutes. The milliamp for the actual buds is going to be 70 and then the case is going to be 500 milliamp hours. So let's get take a look at what comes in the box. Now I've always wanted to try open ear earphones just because the option to listen to your surroundings and not being closed off and but i've always been skeptical of the sound quality between that so here are the earbuds themselves we got another plane coming here are the buds themselves and you do have some paperwork in here this is going to be your instruction manual we're not going to go through that now here is the instruction manual. Manual. We're not going to go ahead and go through all that, but you do have all your instructions in there ready for you to go. And you also do get a charging cable, which is going to be, I believe, USB-C to USB-C. And here you go for your charging cable, which is USB-A to USB type C. And that is all she wrote for the contents inside of the box so we are at the park as you know it and there is an airport close by so you're going to listen to a bunch of planes going by so here we go for the case really nice resin like case on here with these little flakes looks really really cool sort of like a carbon fiber and of course you get sound in heaven we'll see exactly how that sounds so yeah a really nice case you get your usb type c charging on the back when you open it up, you get your indicator light right here to tell you if it needs to be charged. You also get a pairing button right there. And here are the earbuds themselves. Now, very light earbuds. Love the color. So here you go, True Free branding right there. You got your battery over here. And they are very light and soft. And here is a closer look at that speaker that's going to be laying right over your ear. Now, these do have... A left and right indicator is right as you can see right there you're supposed to have two microphones for noise cancellation when you're on calls so we're gonna test out the microphone quality on these as well so yeah very very nice earbuds definitely excited to try these out and I love the case it's nice and compact it's slim and it feels really good it doesn't look like it's going to open up or anything on you so it's got a nice clasped to it and yeah it looks really really nice so the app that you're going to need to install is going to be true free so we're going to go into our market and we're going to download the true free app to get these paired up 
And there you go for that. And this will give you more options with your equalizers and things like that, your sound modes on here to customize. All right, so now we got the TrueFree app connected and here you go for some information. Now I heard that the app is a little okay, not the best app in the world, but this will allow you to customize your earbuds. So here we are for the connection and we are all registered. So we're gonna allow everything for that. Now go into pairing process. We're gonna open them up and we should be able to see them on here. So pair a new device. We're using the Google Pixel 9 to set these up. And let's go ahead and push the pairing button just to give it a little extra. And there you go. I could actually hear it over here. So we're going to allow access. We're going to pair. And we are all paired. So battery life actually really, really good. And we are paired. All right, so here is the app right here. So you are able to customize everything. You are able to disable the touch. You got a gaming mode on here. And then you also have your equalizers, which you got your presets, your customize, and your adaptive over here. So you can also customize your equalizers. So you got presets on here as well. So let's go ahead and take a listen. So you got different options. Now, as far as sounding goes, so as far as sound goes, they do sound pretty good, but they're not going to be the best when it comes down to sounding because they're going to be outside of your ear. So it's obviously not gonna be as loud or as clear so I think for me, the best sounding is going to be an electronic, in my opinion. So you do have all the options for that. You go into your settings. You go into your settings and you can customize the name of them. Of course, you get all your tutorials, your resets. You do have a white noise library which is if you want to relax and stuff you could play a bunch of white noise sounds on there and you could update your product as far as the firmware goes so needs to upgrade and here we go for the latest version 4.3.1 i'm not going to update it just because the signal out here is kind of poop so let's go ahead and take a listen to these truthfully and walk around and show you guys exactly how they look all right, so here we go. We are wearing them, and this is how they're gonna look on the sides as far as how they look in your ear. Now, I do have relatively large ears, and I find them not quite going over my ear hole, as you can see right there, but this gives you an idea how they look. And uh, yeah, as far as the sound quality goes, I think they sound okay. They're not as good as in here. Uh, earbuds or anything like that but if you want to get a sense of your surroundings such as you know you're walking around in the woods or whatever on a trail and you don't want your music to drown out you know the wildlife and the nice scenery or whatever or you're at work when you're in the uh, bus or something or when you're riding your bike and you don't want to get hit by a freaking car uh, this will give you that option to hear your surroundings with these types of earbuds and that is what i am looking for now as far as the sound quality goes like i said it's not my favorite it does not sound as crisp and as clear as in your earbuds and the bass of course but you get an idea of what you're listening to if you're listening to audible or music or something like that you're still able to hear it clearly just now with all of that great detail on these on these uh, earbuds. They do have a high quality hi-fi audio, but there's no other code that says, you know, for more hi-fi, you know, like LDAC and stuff like that. So these earbuds actually sound okay. So let's go ahead and take a listen on the mics and that way you guys can hear how they sound.
when you're talking on these or if you're on a phone call and uh, you want to get an idea of how the other person will hear you. All right, so here we got the Google Pixel 9 front facing camera and we are recording audio through the actual buds themselves. And uh, yeah, how does that sound? You also do have touch controls, which you can touch these and tap on them and long press and stuff like that to uh, continue your video or your music and stuff like that. So you do have that option. So how does this sound as far as the microphones on the actual earbuds themselves? All right, so here is a sound leak. So I got music playing. Are you able to hear that? Now it is pretty loud. I have them turned all the way up and I could actually still hear my own voice and the wind and birds going around on the outside. But as far as that sound leakage goes, can you hear that? So let's go ahead and test out the distance of these because I noticed uh, putting these in my pocket and covering the top part of the phone and putting it in my pocket they were cutting out so let's go ahead and test out the distance so all right so as far as a distance test we are recording using the microphones on the actual earbuds themselves got my phone sitting over there on a park bench and we're going to test it out how the distance test goes and see if they cut in and out turned all the way up i can still listen to everything around me and I can still know when, you know, if a car is coming or something like that, or if somebody's talking to you, you're still able to hear that. So as far as the sound quality goes, uh, they're not the best and I'm going to use them and enjoy them. But as far as the sound quality goes, uh, it's a little iffy. And I noticed uh, when covering the top portion of my phone and putting them in my back pocket, the sound was getting cut off. So I don't know if there's an issue with the connectivity, if there's a weak connectivity issue. Is it my phone? Is it the earbuds? I do not know. But as far as the earbuds themselves, they sound pretty good. They're not gonna give you the clearest detail when it comes down to audio. Uh, they're pretty comfortable. I don't think they're gonna fly out of my ear. So. You are able to run with these. They are IPX5 rated as well. So you are able to get them uh, wet, just not, you know, go swimming with them or anything like that. So they are going to be durable. And like I said, running with them should have no problem. They are lightweight. I don't feel them on me. You know, you're not going to get ear fatigue or anything like that. So, all right. So I forgot to mention the price of these earbuds. So they are 59 99 on Amazon. I will post links in the description down below. Right now, you're able to snag them with an extra 30% off. Now, are they worth it? Depends on what type of earbuds you're listening to. If you don't care about detail and audio quality, then these might do for you. If you're more about listening to your to your surroundings and stuff like that, then they'll be perfect for you. But if you're an audiophile and you care about audio quality, these buds probably ain't for you, but details will be in the description down below and with the links. Thank you guys for watching this review of the True Free O2 wireless earbuds. And uh, yeah, like I said, thank you True Free for sending these out to me to review. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.